So for the second local trace of the week, and we can start on board with from the, um, Steve, Steve Wells. Away we go then once again. We've had a red flag, it's a shortened race. And it's a bad start from Adam Lucas. And here, so heading down to Redgate, Steve Wells will have the inside line, but he may well lose a place from his grid position. But it's Ali Garrett that leads. In second is Mike Kuma, the championship leader. In third, Lee McNamara. Fourth is Richard Bradley. In fifth is Banker. Sixth is Sean Stafford Atkinson. Seventh, Adam Lucas. Eighth is Steve Wells. Through the craners and down towards the old herp. And it's Garrett that still has the lead. And Cherrington there, diving up on the inside of Lucas. Lucas has in the run, stays in front of Matt Cherrington. And as we head up the hill, up towards McLean's we go then. And it is three, almost four wide for the lead. Coombe around the outside of Garrett. He should go to the lead then. As they go around McLean's, out of our view. And it is Coombe that appears back in the lead then. Second's Garrett, third McNamara. In fourth is Bradley, fifth is Bankers, then a gap to side by side. Adam Lucas and Matt Sherrington racing there side by side through Coppice Court on board with Steve Wells. And he's having a go at Adam Lucas now. Sherrington has got through. Lucas almost squeezing Wells onto the grass there. Under breaking there for the chicane as they go through there. They'll complete the first lap of this race then. And Wells has a good run. Now in the slipstream, he pulls out to try and come alongside Adam Lucas. Lucas with, it seems like a half. Decent engine in there, keep it now. Wells then brings the car up alongside for the braking zone, and off goes Cherrington, off goes Lucas. Two cars in the gravel there. Oh, Cherrington in the gravel, Lucas on the grass. It's Kuma that leads, second's Garrett, third McNamara, fourth Bradley, fifth Bankers, sixth is Wells now. The top five have broke away, so we've got a quintet for the lead as they head through the old hairpin. And it is Mike Kuma, championship leader, the leader. Pro Cup 1 2 because Ali Garrett sits there in second position as they head up towards McLean's and once again attacking this time. It's McNamara around the outside of Ali Garrett, but Garrett completely alongside him still, so he should have the inside line to stay in front when they reappear. Yes, that is the case. Still fourth is Richard Bradley, and fifth is Lee Bankhurst as they head round the right hander at Coppice Corner. It is still the 58th from the 33. Kuma from Garrett. Then in sixth is still Steve Wells. And seventh, Lucas. And eighth is Werner. On board with Keith Richards. He goes side by side around Coppice with Paul Smith. They head to the back straight. Smith ahead of Richards then. Car though in the rear view mirror trying to come alongside. I think that's looking like the Thoracic Field. The British Cane and they will complete the second lap of the race, but for the lead it's still Kuma. Second is Garrett, up to third come Richard Bradley. In his final race of the 2012 local season because now did we're here next and it is a be his son Sam that will be taken to the wheel. He was out the last at Anglesey. So through the old hairpin they go then. Still Kuma that leads from Garrett. Bradley, McMara and Bankhurst. Now Garrett draws alongside his teammate and he's drawn in front. So Alistair Garrett goes back to the front. He goes back in front of Mike Kuma. They say now turn out of McLean's. The five of them all still together. Kuma perhaps having a look here into Coppice. No, staying behind. So they go through the right hander. And then onto the back straight they go once again. Back on board with Richard. He fights the car around McLean's. Going defensive up to Coppice. Because I think he's at the 44 car behind him. Barry Stewart. Attacking him there in De Cobbis, and now getting the run out the corner. They will go side by side down to the chicane, but it's side by side for second because McNamara has worked his way up there now. Alistair Garrett's down to fourth, and it's side by side for second because Richard Bradley draws up alongside as they go through Hollywood. Now, are they going to brave it out side by side through the crane of curves? Now, Richard Bradley darts underneath him. This has allowed Mike Cooper to pull away now, so but it probably hasn't quite broken the slipstream yet we will see when they complete the next lap if McNamara, Bradley, um, Alistair Garrett and Lee Bankhurst have brought themselves back into towards Kuma 
but they start battling, they may not be able to bring the gap back down. Garrett was looking on the inside of Bradley there, and he's got through, has he? Bradley kicking up the dirt, and he's lost out to Garrett there. Then he fights back around the outside for Coppice. And uh, onto the back straight they go once again. On board with Steve Wells then. He's got Matt Sherrington coming after him now. So they head onto the back straight. A great run out the corner from Matt Sherrington. In the slipstream. Then he pulls out of the toe. Goes in front for the breaking zone easily. Such a great run that was from Matt Sherrington through Coppice corner. So he's moved in front of Steve Wells. Bankhurst is fourth. Norris fifth and Kuma. It looks like he's managed to break away. And Cherrington already well ahead of Wells. Matt Cherrington on the ch on a charge. He won the first race of the weekend. We see here Sean Brain running in eighth position. Yes, behind Sean Stafford Atkinson and Brain battling with Kevin. Wernham. In fact, that's the battle, I believe, for ninth position between those two. See some of the drivers further down the order. They make their way around the corner curves here at Donington Park. I believe two laps to go and Mike Coomer started his penultimate lap now. Alistair Garrett though in second, Richard Bradley in third, Bankhurst and McNamara battling it out for fourth. There's the 31 car of Lee Bankhurst, the 65 of Lee McNamara. Good run through Hollywood. Is he going to squeeze up on the inside for the Craner Curves then? And they're going to now run side by side down towards the old Herb here, but Bankhurst having the inside. He stays in front. Now Matt Sherrington joins them to make it a trio of cars battling for fourth, fifth, and sixth position. They go underneath Starkey's Bridge. And head up towards McLean's. Here comes McNamara. Then round the outside. And Matt Charrington's going to try and get both of them on the inside line. So he will have the inside set. Turn for the right hander there at McLean's. And Charrington has almost got it done. But they're going to go probably free wide once more. As they head through Coppice. And actually Lee Bankhurst is the person that just stay in front. And Charrington's going to fall back possibly to six once again. Back. On board then with Keith Richards as he runs side by side, I believe, with Barry Stewart. Stewart with the inside and he stays in front. Richards trying to carry the speed through the corner. Meanwhile, back to the lead. It's because Garrett's close, closing in Kuma. The gap, gap is coming down. But the battle's still on for fourth. They're going to be free wide heading onto the crater curves. But no, oh, Cherrington gets them both, both McNamara and Bankhurst, the fourth is Cherrington, fifth is now McNamara, and down to sixth has gone Bankhurst. He was a bit deep into Redgate and lost out there. So the trio of cars head into the old hairpin now for the final time of this short seven lap race. Up towards McLean's, they will go then on, like I say, this final lap of the race. But it is going to be the Pro Comp 1-2 and it looks like after retiring yesterday it is going to be Mike Kuma to win the race. Now the scrap for fourth is going to go to the line. Cherrington holds it but he's going to be giving off the slipstream down the back straight. Steve Wells will get seventh, eighth will go to Sean Stafford Atkinson. The win did go to Mike Coombe, only by three tenths of a second to Ali Garrett. The third was Richard Bradley, and fourth, well, that still went to Matt Sherrington. He managed to hold off Lee McNamara and Lee Bankhurst. Seventh, like we said, Steve Wells, and eighth, Sean Stafford-Atkinson.